problem, citizen. Forget him. People don't always know their own minds. We've got to keep them safe. Oh, wise and merciful, so in today's world. We give thanks. <laughs> but I Not shall be paying my respects to any of the gods on show. You! You two must submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. I've heard about you. I know the so-called savior of the city has taken an interest in you. One thing I've learned, real saviors never label themselves as such. Lord, a fine title for the greatest scoundrel in town. Imagine, wagging your big metal woolies up and down a thoroughfares and calling yourself Archduke. Pathetic. He needs a proper challenge, and from what I've heard, you're the person to give it to him. I might not have exactly what you need, but I remain at your service. Have a look, at least. Speed. Are you gonna face me like a man? Or hide away like a child? Scandals, vandals, where to buy scandals? Exactly. Don't you rather be stabbed in the dark? I thought I was done for. Lady Luke, bless you. Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. More like stone shies. <laughs> The very one, and my idiot self didn't realize till it was finger deep in his pockets. Won't be making that mistake again. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. Not allowed 
to play here. It's not respectful. We must play here. This is where they like to hide. But it's not allowed. Come Why out, me? sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. Sister is older than me. She always likes to play. She hides in the ground, but I will find her. Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I find them soon. I like this game, but it is less fun to play it alone. some flowers. They do a wonder at brightening up a grave. I bring fresh ones. I'm not. My husband was an ass. <laughs> but he gave me three beautiful kids. So the old goat gets flowers. I get them up by Bloombridge. A druid lives that way, so you know they're extra fresh. Of course. Standing downwind. Red the Gazette today, Ed May. Yeah, this edition looks better than ever. Better than ever? With all the articles about coats and war. What? The Harper safe house I spoke of is on your shoot? Brings you by. Hey, want to play pretend? You and me. Let's imagine I get to live 50 more years. We have a whole life ahead of us. What do we do? was never part of my plan, but in this fantasy, I can picture it. You, me, two little usses. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? <sighs> Damn it. I wish I had a longer road ahead of me. I want to walk it with you. I'm not really tough enough to face any of this, you know? I'm scared shitless, but there's a courage in me I never knew I had. I've always thought I was fearless, never scared of a fight, of the future, but dying has taught me so much. There's no courage in fearlessness. There's courage in being fucking terrified, but still going forward, still being grateful, still trying. We're going to save this city, together. It's going to be the last thing I do. Call me when you work out the secret to immortality. Until then, I'm just going to get busy living my life. The only one I've got. Hey, you. Don't touch me. Still 
breathing, despite everything. well. Would be a lot better if you find a way to fix this engine, Damon. I haven't stopped trying, but all roads lead to a dead end. Sorry, I didn't mean... Never mind. Glad you're all right in any case. Nice forge you've got here. Best I've had in years. Mistress of the house lets me operate from here for a fair price. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy. Good. Someone should be. Certainly. Shout if you need anything else. What can I do for you? Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention.
for the wicked, I see. It's good to be alive. What to do? What now? What can I do for you? It's perfect, really. Just a moment, I'll be able to work this one quickly. <laughs> What can I do for you? Uh, I'm shocked by my good fortune, quite honestly. Uh, rent is fair, and the setup is just what I need to start making a living again. Without you, I'd be dead in a ditch twice over. But hey, anything could happen in the meantime. Optimism, right? Time to press ahead. You've been single too long. Month it's been. You know, But I made a delivery to the docks just yesterday. Sorry, citizen. The docks are now a restricted area. Talk straight. Gortash isn't gonna fall. If Gortash doesn't want to pay us fair, then we're selling our rights to Be blinded by smiles and song. Evil comes in many forms. It's not a lie. If you would just listen, I could explain. You have done quite enough explaining, Volothamp Gadam. 
You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are, Fearmonger. Hear, hear! Attention seeker! Hear, hear! Agent of chaos! Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Rack the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth. Psst. Don't you stand there? Help me, gods damn it! Help me! I really think we ought to step in here. Whatever his crime, his punishment is surely an overcorrection. What's this? Another heretic in our midst? Another mind clouded by the disruptor's lies? Another soul to cleanse? Well, we are nothing if not gracious. Let us see if we cannot lift the veil from their eyes too. for this. Step. A peak 
worked hard. Where do I go from here? Find a way forward. about it. One with the weave. By smiles and song, evil comes in many. It's you, you do it. I really think we ought to step in here. Whatever his crime, his punishment is short. What's another? Well, oh. ah.
recovered. Strike you down. is my happy place.
at the ready. Never a dull moment. You have my attention. thought I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. Again, what's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? As you know it, they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. But not here. Too many eyes, ears, and weapons about. Meet me at your camp. Very full. Not for communal use, it seems. to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Nonsense! It is my dedication to truth that endangers my well-being, and I have uncovered the most startling truth imaginable. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate, and his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Oren is his chosen, and like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. It contains all the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. Now I just need a brave adventurer. Willing to face Baal's chosen and to put the knowledge into practice. Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. It's one of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath. Hmm? The Dream Eater. It is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. A genius. Exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesela, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Irenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. 
Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia yourself. You'll need every advantage. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped. But not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Uh, two or three at most. Whatever happens next, be sure... I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. I was forgetting who I was, but you lifted the fog. Thank you. You. I discovered you. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. Truly? I thought you felt the same as I did, but I respect your choice. If that's how you truly feel. Your friendship remains precious to me. Still, I could not have forgiven myself had I not... dog wags his tail. He gives in and surrenders his father. Scratch's tail wags in. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even. Scratch's tail wags. Scratch his tongue, lolls out happy. 